today's episode of Big Willie's Fab Shop, we are performing some ultra violations, building and putting up a deer stand. So stay tuned, crack a cold snack, and enjoy. So the first step on this escapade is to make the stilts or the stand itself. To hold the shack up, um, kind of shown here is um, brackets, some gussets that I made and designed up to hold the legs out roughly two feet from the base of the platform to give us enough, I would say, sturdiness. Weld in some more steel on there. Kind of note on most of the material that we're using here. It's all pretty much reclaimed. We had it laying around, so that's we kind of get, why we chose some of the material the size that we did. The points it may look overbuilt, but we had on hand, and you know, typically like to good click overbuild game. things. So yeah, so now we're kind of flipping it over, trying to flip it over. I I guess. How how in the heck to do it? breaking it so yeah kind of uh, sit back and watch this entertaining process So after flipping it over, it was time to work on the stairs um, to get up to the stand. And kind of showing here is some brackets that I used to attach our stair steps to. Um, kind of overbuilt, but hey, we had the material, we had the knowledge, so we might as well overbuild it. So here's the finished product of the stairs. Yeah, I would say overbuilt, but yeah, and it. And then next to move the stand, stairs, legs, whatever you want to call it, out to the to the field actually. Um, so we kind of took a shortcut through the woods here. It's, it's something to say the least. And then after that, time to go on the cultivated field. It's a long, slow process of it, but uh, yeah. Overall, everything worked pretty dang good. So. One eternity later. All right, should be good. Fixing up the old line here. Fix up the frame the door. A little more stout. Frame that. Put a little reinforcement on the ceiling. Potentially it could help hold the snow load, but we'll see. Now just getting it ready for some spray foam action. So that is the next step. Now, overall, the door looks pretty damn good. A lot better than it was. Lubed up the surfaces. So hopefully I cut the spray foam after it's hardened and pop it off. We will see if that works to be determined, but hey, gotta try somewhere. What I'm doing here is just spraying some water on the surfaces. 
since the spray foam that I'm using is moisture activated, this kind of speeds up the curing process and supposedly makes it better. Yeah, I don't know about that, but stay tuned. Well, overall, turned like turned out like crap, but hey, this uh, spray foam insulation—not really insulation, it is more so of a sound deadening in this case, because coverage is uh, not the greatest. That's for sure. You probably have to have another ten of these cans to get good coverage. And by my calculations, I should have been two cans extra on this to get oh about I think an inch thick and this stuff did not want to expand but I'm not sure why but it is what it is just have to use more propane oh well but hey it is pretty quiet in here right now so that works I got the ceiling but yeah I guess yeah, I don't know. I'm not too impressed by this stuff, but it is what it is. So uh might have been doing it wrong or it might not have been the right stuff, but yeah, it is what it is. So on to the next thing. Alright. Thinking what I'm thinking. Yep. OSHA violation. Alright, here's a contraption. To lift the old tree stand up. You know, I say it's strong enough, but what do you think? Uh, I think we need the handyman secret weapon. Uh, as Red Green would say, duct tape. You can often judge a handyman by the number of empty duct tape rolls he has lying around, especially after a long weekend. Hold on, you gotta do this thing. Yep, she ain't going anywhere. Got the house loaded up and we're off to see the wizard so but actually we're bringing it out to the stand part itself so it's scenic route again in the field so here we go now it's actually time to load it up and to see if it actually reaches theory it should but times theory doesn't equivalent to real life scenarios so find out also side note here uh, the fork that the house is putting on the loader tractor is less than a half of a 1600 pound round bale um, at the bucket itself which this loader tractor is well capable of carrying two 1,600 pound bales at the bucket, so work-wise we are plenty below the capable rating of the loader, so just for anyone out there that's worried about it being strong enough for this 200 pound house, uh, in theory should be good enough. Next after that, uh, it was time to actually strap the house to the stand metal brackets and deck screw them in, bolted them in also, so again, theory, it shouldn't go anywhere.
Step 137 is to screw the anchor underneath the stand itself and we'll be running a chain from the top of the house all the way down to this anchor and having a binder on there which I didn't show but to get her nice and tight. After that, time to grab the stairs, the overbuilt stairs and note to self here. Anchor is probably not needed due to the weight of the stairs. The stairs probably will keep the whole house in place, but hey, what we had, I like the overbuilt things. So, prime example. Just like that, four more safety bolts and she's done. Overall, not too bad of an install and went a lot better than I was expecting. So it is ready for the hunting season 2024. See if I can get a Bambi. Also, if we get 10,000 likes on this video, my dad said he will be building a stand just like this. He doesn't know that yet, but once he gets to this part in the video, he will know. Anyways, that concludes this episode of Big Willie's Fab Shop, and make sure to keep your stick on the ice. So remember, women don't find you handsome. They should at least find you handy.